All right, guys, welcome back to Nico Brothers. We're back at the yard where we bought the Corvette. So pretty much we're here to pick up the Chevy truck. We had to get the other trailer because uh, they won't load it. So somehow we had to figure out how to load it. Our trailer does tilt and we do have a winch on it. So that's a good thing. But uh, it's kind of cold and uh, let's, let's see this happen. So. Um, so the game plan is to get the jack over here. We're gonna jack up the front end as high as we can, put them on a block. And then we're gonna you know, back up the trailer whenever they move all these cars. And then hopefully we can uh, wench it on, put the jack right there and slide this thing on the trailer. So let's see how that plan goes. Okay, while we're waiting, I got a jump box. Let's check how many miles is on this thing and make sure we can put it in neutral. The door's still open, that's good. Oh, we got power. Nice little key. Oh, dash lit up. Push the button. 8,000 miles, wow. Sweet. But if it has 8,000 miles on this thing, that's a smoking deal. Let's see if this thing has navigation. That means let's go home. It has Android. I guess it is kind of loaded. Definitely need to clean all this stuff. But hopefully it's gonna be in the new truck. Look at that. Well, let's, look on, let's go underneath and check all this out. So engine looks good, transmission looks good. I still don't see the shift linkage. Okay, there's the shift linkage. So we know it's probably neutral. Oh no, it's in low. Let's go switch one, two, three. Now let's check. It says it's in reverse right now. So let's go back one more. neutral all right so finally they moved some of the cars I thought they'd move more but I guess they don't care about safety here I don't know but pretty much we're gonna tilt the trail a little bit and back it up over here but yeah I don't know about this co-part all right so we got the, the truck kind of lifted up it's on blocks so now we should be able to kind of get underneath and then hopefully put this jack on the bed itself and use that as the wheel to roll it forward. That's the plan. We'll see how it happens though. Still excited about the truck though. Okay, so here's the game plan. We got the wench hooked up. Um, we put the jack right there. So that's gonna hopefully roll together and off those blocks. And we should be good to go. You know, a little pump on this one. There we go. So the truck is in neutral. Let's try it. It's going. Double check everything. Okay, these blocks are good. It's going. Slide this one right too. Another stopper. Maybe turn the wheel. Yeah, let's turn the wheel a little bit to the right. Okay, so I strapped the wheel down. So now it should stay spinning, turning right or a little bit straighter. Let's try this again. Just gotta hurry up before we kill the jump box. I do have a battery inside, but the cable's a little short. So good. Let's keep going. 
side. So the truck is going straight. That's good. Uh -oh. Okay, so I had to switch the cable from this side to the other side. It was pulling the truck a little too much to this side, so hopefully we'll pull it to the other way. The battery feels a lot better now. There it goes. We are on the trailer. Let's lower the trailer. This is good news. Down. There we go. Heck yeah. Uh oh. We got this little guy. That should roll forward a lot easier. Let's check the other side. This side looks like we need to turn. Yeah, let's turn this wheel all the way to the right or left. Okay, so there we have it. I strapped it down. I strapped down the hood and pretty much anything else that's gonna fall off. I strapped it down. It's looking really good. And I think we did it pretty fast. So I got pretty much six straps on this thing. Three in the back, three in the front. Strapped down the door. Took all the tr stuff out of the bed. Put some of it inside. What do you guys think? Replace the new truck or? I don't know. Pretty sweet though. Let's hit the road and go home. Right, guys it's the next day I drove throughout the day and then when I got back we were exhausted so it's the next morning and uh, the trucks here we're at the shop let's check out what we got you know I'm super excited because this is I mean this is gonna be hopefully the new shop truck you know after all the work is gonna be done to it you know a little upgrade from our, our other Duramax to the new Duramax and uh, yeah let's check it out all right, we're gonna start with the best thing on this truck right now, which is this door. So this door has no damage that we know of. And it works. Nice. But we do have three wheels, so three wheels are good, one's bad. One of them is actually inside the bed. Um, it's still filled up with air with all the suspension on there, so maybe the rim's good, maybe it's not. I don't know yet, but uh, let's keep going. All right, so here's I would say most of the damage, but not really. But this is where I guess it took most of the impact. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if it's something laid on it, something fell on it, it flipped over. I mean, we don't know. And we don't know if it's a runner, you know, if it actually even starts or drives. You know, it wasn't listed at on, online um, for a good reason, you know. But uh, it doesn't look that bad, you know. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Kind of but, I mean, we did tell you it only has 8,000 miles on it, you know, it has power inside the you know so it's it's kind of worth it all right so we're on the passenger side and it looks like one headlight's good with a, one little broken tab so that's a good thing right we got the little cover piece right here um i mean this is gonna be the first new duramax we fixed we haven't fixed any of the new ones yet so it's it's a little bit different now they actually have uh instead of a whole piece fender they have it in two sections so they actually have a core support inside which is going to be fun to learn how to do or who knows what we're going to do 
And as you guys saw, I got this thing loaded on there with a the little jack, and now we're here at the shop. We do have a forklift, but unfortunately one of our cylinders is leaking pretty bad, so we're getting that repaired. So we can't use our forklift right now to get this thing unloaded. Um, so what I was thinking is check out the old suspension, see if we can weld it just to get it rollable and inside the shop, or we have to buy a new suspension. But I've been looking online, it's kind of hard to find parts right now, you know? And we don't know what we're gonna do, either we're gonna get a parts truck or we're gonna, I don't know yet. So I think we're gonna try to get the old suspension and try to get it on installed, um, the lower control arm, I mean, just to get it rollable, you know? Um, but let's keep going throughout the damages. So here is another door that's almost good and somehow it got damaged right here. But we can fix that. I mean, that's that's not a big deal. I mean, this is a really nice truck, a really big truck. And I, I'm excited. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited about this build. And here is the back of the truck, which is also damaged. Uh, but it's just the bed, you know. Hopefully the frame rails are good in the back, the axle is good in the back. We just take off this bed and it's going to look good, you know. And also there's damage on the roof. I mean, there's damage everywhere except that one door and maybe two wheels. But, I mean, we, we wanted a big project. I mean, we paid, I, I think, super cheap for it. I mean, there's a lot of room in the budget for parts. And uh, I mean, this truck is still worth about, what, $70,000? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, I think we did good. You know, with only 8,000 miles on it, Plus, we probably want to do some upgrades for it, you know? I mean, it's going to be a shop truck. Got to make it look good. And uh, I'm not a big fan of black trucks, you know? I have a white truck, you know, and I'd rather have white than black. So we might do a whole color change. Who knows, you know? We might do some crazy things with this thing. But let's go inside and check out which airbags deployed. All right, guys. So we're inside the truck and uh, looking around. You know, we know the roof's damaged, but the roof airbags didn't deploy. So that's, that's good. The seatbelt's deployed, so I mean that's not a bad part. We get them sent out, get them fixed, and the driver's wheel airbag deployed. The dash is good, the seats are good, the knee airbag if it has one, it's all good. So from this crazy accident, only what one airbag, three airbags blew? Wow. I mean that's kind of crazy. It's like you know? a bumper hit, you know? Yeah. But I mean this thing looks pretty loaded. You know, we know it has only 8,000 miles on it, but it's got like the screen and shit like navigation, all the little bells and whistles, it's got heated seats. Nice. You know, it's gonna be an upgrade from our other truck for sure. And look at this, it's got it's got it'll, it'll back up the trailer for you? No way. I don't know. We gotta try it. It's got like all, it's got a lot of it's got a lot of features, which were it's gonna be exciting to uh, to use them, you know. But let's check out the suspension and go from there. Also, I forgot, check out the back seat. This one has way more room than my other truck. And it's got all these like special compartments. Like, wow. check that out right there. I mean, what, it, what? I mean, I guess, you know? That's cool. And then the seats go up. I mean, look how much room. Look what I found. But I mean, that's, that's I mean, that's a lot of room, you know? For, for a truck, I guess they upgraded and it's a little bigger from the other cab, but pretty sweet. All right, so we're gonna try to uh, open this tailgate. Nah, it ain't gonna open. But there's the suspension right there. Um, let's get it down and check out, you know, if it's good. You know, the tire looks like it's full of air. The rim looks good, except right there looks like a little little bent, I guess where it got hit. But let's uh, get this uh, probably, what, 100 pounds? 120 pounds off the, the we'll, we'll just probably throw it. Can't do any more damage, can we? Ooh. Look at that, so upper ball joint. Hopefully we can pop that back in. The axle, we're just gonna have to pull it out. We can get that welded and that welded, so. Oh yeah. Just let's get this off the bed. All right guys, so unfortunately, we've been looking at suspension, maybe we will, maybe not, but we're gonna call around, we're gonna see how much, well, if we can get a used control arm, you know? And then it'll be much safer to get this thing unloaded from the trailer. Uh, it was a long day. We got the trailer truck loaded by ourselves. It took us, not forever, but it took us some time. I don't know why Copart over there does not want to load nothing for you. But it is what it is. Uh, I'm glad we got it back to the shop. I'm super excited about this truck. Uh, it's gonna be an epic build. Uh, hopefully it's gonna be the new shop truck and uh, it's gonna replace the other Silverado that you guys saw. So, I mean, I'm excited. I don't know about you guys if you're excited. Leave us a comment down below. 
Uh, let us know what you guys think. Let us know us if it's a good deal that we got it for, what we should do to it, uh, where we should get parts, and go from there. Thanks for staying tuned. We'll see you guys on the next one. I can't wait, man.